Welcome to part 2 of MySQL PHP search programming courtesy of developphp.com. Moving right along with no time to waste, now that we have our exercise tables created and populated, we can start with basic search programming. But before we work on any SQL syntax, we need an HTML form to give the user something to type their search query into. So I'm going to go into the body tag and I'm going to type in a form tag. And the form action I'm going to make PHP. So you, if you're on Dribbleable, you can go up here to the PHP tab and just echo. If you hit echo, you can echo server self like that. Now what that's going to do is make this file parse to itself. An equivalent to that is me typing in search.php. That makes it also parse to itself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave mine like this, echoing server self, just because I'm a cool dork. And we want the method to be post and I'm gonna see if I can just get by with that I'm gonna close that off and then go down one line and close off the form tag try to anyway and actually if you're in Dreamweaver while you're building forms you can go inside of your form tag there and let's see up here they have a selection for forms and they give you all these nice things you just clicky and it goes in you don't have to know anything like right now I don't know anything I'm gonna click this and I have a field Look at that. I'm going to name this text field uh, search query. Would that be a good name? Search query? Yeah, that makes total sense. Okay. And now if I look in design view, hey, look at that. I got the form. I got the field. Now all I have to do in front of the field is put search, maybe, the word search. That works for me. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the max chars to be 88 and then my character width for the how long that field's going to be you can also use css and use a uh, a pixel amount or a percentage for the width on this text field but i'm going to use the char width here and set it to maybe i don't know 80 all right so that's what it's going to look like and above that form maybe i can pop in search the exercise tables and we can go ahead and highlight that press control 2 and that'll give us a nice h2 header that'll say search the exercise tables okay okay and then what we'll do is under the form we'll have an output section so let's go ahead and make that real quick let's just put in a div close it off go down the line and close the div tag search output output and then put a semicolon on the end of it on the front of it put a dollar sign highlight the whole thing go up here to PHP and echo and that's where we're gonna echo the search output okay and what will happen is when the person presses submit with their search query we are going to have PHP up top here so we can just go ahead and put that in place let's go ahead and put a PHP block and here is where we will process the search query okay the first thing we have to do is put an if condition open the curly brace go down one line close the curly brace and inside of the parentheses we're going to type in is set which is a PHP function to see if a variable or global is set and the variable we want to look for is search query so I'll type in dollar sign underscore post open bracket single quote single quote close bracket in between those single quotes that's where that variable name goes so if is set post search query then and only then will this code here run well, we're gonna put in one more little condition we're gonna put the and operator we want to make sure this posted variable is not equal to nothing so if it's set and if it has a value then and only then are we going to run this code here run code if condition meets here okay so here's the logic if this posted variable is set that means if they use that form they type something in and actually we're gonna need a button so let's go up back up here to forms and hit the button and let's make it a submit type okay there we go name can be my BTN so let's see what we have there that's good now back to the logic what's gonna happen is if they press that button they type something in code is gonna process here the code that you want to process here is 
looking in your database to search for things that they whatever they typed in that's what you're going to search the database for right here and you're going to assemble that into a variable whatever output comes out in the loop you're going to assemble it into a variable called search output and then it comes out on the page here under the search bar very simple very nice and I've decided to add something real quick early on so we can put it under that button there so what we're going to do is add a list not a text area where is that select list right there let's name it uh, filter one okay and in the select list go ahead and make the select uh, closing tag go down one line and inside that open space you have there now in between the opening and closing select tag we're gonna put in option space value and the first one is going to be by default it'll be searching the whole site the person will be searching the whole site and then you close off your option tag and in between the option tags opening and closing there type in whatever this value is here and let's take that copy it and here what did we have we have tables called pages that's the pages section of the site so you can allow the user to search only in that section of the site and I'll show you how to do that and then the other one was blog so you can allow them to search independently within the blog maybe they don't want uh, results from the pages they don't want results from the whole site they want only results from the blog and they want to search for certain things only in the blog you can allow them to do that with this little list and let's make sure that we have that select down a couple of lines put in break tags let's make sure make those semantic by putting on the uh, closing tag in those breaks yeah that's good now in front of that we can type in right here in this line search in search in whole site it'll say by default and then they'll be able to select pages or blogs too now with all of this set up inside of this area here is where we'll evaluate to see if they use the filter or not because if we'll know if it's whole site it's going to be whole site by default we'll see if it's if it's not whole site then we're going to query the database differently okay I'll show you how to do that so now that we have all of the cosmetic mechanisms the really the user interfaces for searching and we have a little display area here we'll pick it up in the next video where we're gonna actually get down and dirty with some SQL syntax showing all the different ways that you can query your database in a search type scenario